Hey everyone, I'm Nick, the community manager of Pixel Games, and this is the Monthly Dev Breakdown, the monthly series where we summarise what we've been up to as fast as possible. Keep in mind that this is all a work in progress and not the final product. So, let's get started with the arcade. We are so close to releasing phase 1 of the arcade, so get subscribed to our channel. We'll be dropping a trailer as soon as it releases. We made a lounge area where you can relax and get a nice view of the arcade from these windows. Queue up a YouTube video on the media player and lay back in a beanbag. We've had a pizza and ice cream shop inside the arcade, just make sure you wash your hands before and after you eat. When you walk up to an arcade machine, you'll get a handy pop-up that tells you how to play. Gameplay for Avalanche and Whirl of Fish have been improved. Here's some updated gameplay. Lonely Gun has some holster animations and updated gameplay. Ski Ball also got updated gameplay. Pick up a ball by pressing E and hold left click to charge your throw. We've also given it some fancy score indicators. They light up. We've made a new pixelated NPC for the asteroid belt, which is where you can redeem tickets for arcade prizes. And boy is there a lot of them. In the final week of the month, we also went through every machine and set up ticket earning and finalised the scoring and bonus systems. Plucker Pal gameplay was completed. Go grab those plushies! We also finished the backend code for the tickets and token machines. Also, the arcade exterior now looks like this. We'd also like to show off this rail based attraction we're working on. We plan to have it playable in the final phases of the arcade, and it doesn't have a name yet. This was actually planned from the very beginning of Tower Knight's development, originally being conceived as a boardwalk attraction, until we gave it a home in the arcade. This month we finally completed the engine upgrade, which should make the game far smoother on your system. The engine upgrade allows for more players per plaza, and a higher FPS, especially in the plaza. At the same time as the engine upgrade, we introduced a new mini golf map called Island. Check out the trailer at the link in the description. We've been updating the forest map for mini golf with a slightly new look. We have some cooking items to show off, here they are. Work is already starting on Accelerate, our upcoming racing game world. We have a whole new trailer for Tower Unite, go watch it at the link in the description. And that is everything we've worked on for February. We are so close to releasing the first phase of the arcade. Once again, make sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to be the first to know when the arcade drops. That's all for now, thank you for watching.